If you're looking to create very simple organizational charts, flow charts, Venn diagrams, business matrices, then Microsoft Visio just got released for Office 365 customers for free. And this means that there's a very basic version online that you can access through your tenant. So let's get started with that. But we've, before we do, my name is David Benayim and I have weekly videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Power BI, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, other apps like Visio. So if you like this kind of content, then I release about one video a week. So subscribe to my channel if you want more. But for now, let's get started with Visio. So here we are in Visio. You can navigate to it through your app launcher and you can see it there or click on all apps if you don't see it. So you can do a new blank drawing or start with a template. I'm gonna click more templates. Some pretty cool stuff here. For example, you can do basic diagrams or flow charts. You can also have typical business matrices and I'll show you these in a little bit or Venn diagrams, but I'm gonna go with this theater booking process. So here we are, we've opened up Visio. Now what you'll see right off the bat is that this top part is pretty similar. And this is quite new, this pane on the left. This is different shapes that you can add. So let me add a blank one and let's look at the different shape families. So I can click on add shapes and I can choose, let's add them all. So start at the top. So these are the basic shapes, pretty much what you might expect. These are more flow chart shapes. So you can drag them and you do get your alignment tools or you can hover over them and then you can add shapes from that. And whatever you see here, these so-called quick shapes, are based on what you have selected there. So if I have this selected, then the ones that I see here are from that family, like that. If you add them, it does automatically give you the connector lines, which is quite nice. So back to here, you can have matrix diagram shapes, and these can be quite cool if you are looking at business matrices. For example, you can have a SWOT analysis where you have placeholder text that you can type on top of, and you can have the Boston matrix, which I remember from my business studies days. We can have dogs, question marks, stars, and cash cows, but all sorts of these, you can use them as you wish. You also have pyramids. So these can be used sometimes if I had a new page, like an inverted pyramid or a basic pyramid or something stepped, something like that. And you can replace them. You can replace the text in them there. Or you can even add your own custom one with these ones. Um, funnels are used quite often like this for sales funnels, but there are other business use cases. Then you have cycle diagrams, so this is how they look. Blocks that are raised, similar to blocks here. And then you have arrows, callouts, banners to be able to write things on there. Let me scroll to the bottom. Here you have symbols, and this is quite interesting because Microsoft Office nowadays comes with a ton, thousands of different icons, but they are not in Visio, in the free tier anyway. You can, however, insert your own uh, custom pictures, and just to show you the stock images that you get here are beautiful, full screen images that can look really nice, and you also get cut out people and stickers, but you don't get the icons which would appear here in the other apps. So here you have some symbols and you can insert them and still create connectors between them like that to this one, for example. These are some graphs and math shapes. These are some process steps. These, these can be quite nice when you work on them together. For example, you can have the Chevron step like this and then you can have another one and it does align them for you. So you can put them side by side like that and put different things in there. If you've used SmartArt inside PowerPoint, then this is not dissimilar to that, but you, you have more flexibility in what you can do, or you can do the full three level one if you wanna jump forward to that. Then you can also have uh, Venn diagrams. I quite like the Venn diagrams. Here you can you can add the one with three and you can actually type in this part. You can type in any one of the parts or add symbols to any one of the parts and it can put it for you there. This is actually something I've tried to do multiple times in PowerPoint and it doesn't work very well. You have other different types of Venn like a two set one or even an onion diagram. 
that has things as subsets of each other. Or you can draw your own, but note that if you do draw your own, then they don't, they do overlap, but you can't actually type in the overlap part. You can't really separate it, unfortunately. So yeah, those are different types of diagrams here. Now, I briefly showed you that you can add your own shapes here, and it shows you depending on what family you have there. So if I want to have banners, I can show these banners like that, and I can type in here. But what's also interesting is that you can type on the arrows. So if I want to have here as option A, let me hover over it, look out for the green thing and the green thing when you arrive, because that's the connection point. So let's do that one, and then let's also connect to this one, like that. And this one I'm going to say uh, yes and no. So that's what you might expect for a a flow diagram. If I go back to my page one, this is what they've done here, a lot of things like that. Now, if you do have overlaps, then so if I do draw something, for example, from here to here, like that, it does overlap with others, like we see there. Let me do another one from there to here. And whenever there's an overlap, you can see it does this kind of jump here. Now, this is an option you can change if you deselect it and go to design, you can choose the connectors to be remove line jumps or turn that on, show line jumps. You can also choose if all of them are gonna be straight lines or all of them are going to be curved or, or, or then you can select specific ones like this. And I can say for these ones, they're going to be right angles. You can have a mixture if you like that. Notice that if you use this form of selection, make sure you go all the way to the end. So this, this one on the right will not be selected if I do that, but if I go a little bit further like that, it will be selected. So over here in design, you also have diagram view. So if you want to essentially switch it, you can do that by clicking on here and do it the other way, for example, and then Visio will kind of do what it can to switch it. If I move this here, notice that all of these extra pages go away there. You can have all sorts of things like radial or circular type flow charts. So let me go back to the beginning. I'll just undo. So that's these. Um, also in design, you can change the color scheme if you like. Or if you want to change more than just the color scheme, you can click on themes and you can choose this one, for example, where it doesn't have them filled for the most part. It has them just as outlines. Auto size, so that means that if you move something there, it will add a page. And then in view, you can choose whether you see the page breaks or not, and whether you see the quick shapes or not. So the quick shapes mean that when you hover over, something happens. If you select it and you open it, you see these, as I showed you earlier. Um, you can choose this, change the size of the screen, of the page or the orientation. And then an insert, I already showed you stock images, but you can insert your own custom pictures or custom icons if you save them as a picture from within PowerPoint. You can draw your own shapes and you can add comments to collaborate with because you can share this file and multiple people can edit it at the same time, given that it's online. Sharing happens just the same as Office 365. The home tab, all of these should be pretty familiar, um, especially if you're, a, if you're a big PowerPoint user, just to show you some examples. So let's say I want to add some shapes here, like that. I can select them and I can go here and I can choose to align them to the top and distribute horizontally would be more impactful. Uh, this is about grouping, rotation, flipping, center back, bring to front, etc. Pretty similar to what you might expect if you're already a user of these apps. So if you go to the file menu, um, these are your recent things, all pretty similar. Save as is probably what's most different. You can choose to download a copy and then uh, be able to use that as a video file or send it across as a video file to someone to do it. You can download it as a PDF or as an image. 
you download it as an image, you only get PNG and JPEG formats, unfortunately. You can choose whether to make it transparent and choose the resolution, this being the highest. It would be nice if you could export, export as an SVG graphic, but that's not available in the free tiered app. Open in desktop app also doesn't work with the free tiered app. So it says we tried opening, but it doesn't work. So here I am in PowerPoint. I'm on the desktop app, but it also works in PowerPoint Online. So if you go to insert icons, you have these icons here. Now, the premium content picker in Visio Online for the free tier gives you images, cut out people, and stickers. It doesn't give you this other stuff. Particularly icons, I think, are the most useful. Cartoon people are brand new, only in pre-release at the moment. So I'm going to insert a couple of things like this. And then they do appear by default in black. There's my design ideas. I'm not going to use that. You can recolor them, which is nice. So you can change that. You can give it a black outline, whatever you want. Or if you want to recolor it bit by bit, you can convert to a shape. And each individual bit can be recolored. So this is how you might want it to be. Once you're done, you can right click and you can choose to save as picture. And you get which way, which type of picture you want to save it as. Um, do you use a PNG? That's probably the best for this use case. Item. So from Visio, I can go to insert and pictures and choose file. And I did save a basketball as an SVG, but that actually won't work here, annoyingly. It doesn't support it on this version of it. But if you go to a PNG one, that will be supported. And then from here, you can say you want to add a linked shape like that. Probably the most useful article I've found is this blog post about Microsoft Visio rolling out to Microsoft 365 commercial subscribers worldwide. So this explains how it works. They did announce this back then, but it does give you ideas of how to do it. This is the web-based browser experience, but it's also coming to Teams. I personally don't yet have this on my Teams tenant. You'll be able to do it in Teams directly and edit it just the same way as I've shown you on the browser. So in fact, when you do a new item on a Teams channel, you could always say Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Now you can also say a new Visio drawing. And then that will open up the Visio editor. And you can do pretty much everything that I've shown you. And, and here is a video as well. And it will show you how, you, how to use the Visio online free version, but also some cool stuff that has come to the paid tier of Visio. So who is included? So these are the versions that are included. Again, I will put a link to this in the description below. So if you are not sure, you can have a look at this. And then it has a lot more information about it as well. How does it compare to Visio Plan 1 and Visio Plan 2? These are the, the paid versions. I'm going to click on this and let's have a look. So here you can see feature by feature what is included and what isn't. Essentially, Visio Plan 1 and Visio and Microsoft 365, the free one, are pretty much exactly the same. There are a few subtle things like Power BI or other aspects. Visio Plan 2 is the only one that has the Windows PC version. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. My name is David Benheim and I have tons of video on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, other Microsoft apps like this one or Sway or Forms. So if you use tech at the workplace, then subscribe to my channel. I try to release a new video once a week.